Good day, students. My name is Ajayi Akitunde Luatosi, your physics teacher for today. Topic for today is temperature and its measurements, our behavioral objectives. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to analyze the concept temperature and its measurements with emphasis on one, definition of heat and temperature, two, stating characteristics of thermometric substance, three, least types of thermometer, four, explain how the Fahrenheit scale is converted to the Celsius scale content. Temperature is one of the seven units, basic units, and we might therefore attempt to treat temperature as we treat other base units in the SI system, and also to establish a standard and relate all other scales to the standard. Temperature is mistakenly used to mean heat. Heat and temperature have different meaning entirely. Temperature is a physical property of matter that quantitatively express hot and cold. Temperature is the degree of hotness and coldness of a body. I mean, temperature is the degree of hotness and coldness of a body. Heat. It measures the change in the total internal energy or the form of energy that can be converged from one body to another due to temperature difference. If there is no temperature difference, there is, there is no transfer of energy. It is also known as transient energy because it depends on temperature difference. It is measured in joules and named after James Prescott Joules. What are the four types of temperature scales? The unit of measurement of temperature are one, the Fahrenheit, named after Gabriel Daniel Fahrenheit. On this scale, the freezing point of water is 32 degrees and the boiling point of water is 212 degrees. The Fahrenheit scale is divided into 180 equal part. 2. Centigrade, named after and uh, Celsius. On the Celsius scale, the interval between the lower and the upper fixed point is divided into 100 equal parts. The lower fixed point is marked as 0 degrees Celsius and the upper fixed point is marked as 100 degrees Celsius. It means on the Celsius scale, the freezing point of water is 0 degree and the boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. The third one, rank, named after Augusto Rank, not commonly used. Then the fourth one is Kelvin. Kelvin unit abbreviation is K, no degree or degree sign. Kelvin unit was first presently first presented by William Thomas, Lord Kelvin, in 1848, the last of which is predominantly used for scientific purposes by convention of the international system of units. The interval between the lower and the upper fixed point is divided into 100 equal parts. Thus, a change in 1 degree Celsius is equal to a change in 1 Kelvin. The upper fixed point on this scale correspond to the lower sorry the lower fixed point on this scale correspond to 273 Kelvin and the upper fixed point on this scale uh, this scale is 373 Kelvin. The zero on this scale is called 
the absolute zero and it is equal to minus 273 degree on sexual scale. At the absolute zero, all thermometric properties are zero. There will be no kinetic energy. Thank you. I will come back immediately after the break. Welcome back. We've been looking at temperature and its measurements. Now we want to look. Temperature is measured using an instrument called thermometer, which have two reference points called upper fixed point and lower fixed point. A thermometer is an instrument that measures the temperature of any solid, liquid, or gaseous matter. It has varied application in homes, hospitals, science laboratory, restaurants, and industry, industrial processes for different purposes, such as measuring the temperature of human body, food, chemical reaction, air leak, indoors slash outdoors, etc. Characteristics of a good thermometer. A thermometer must possess the following qualities. One, well constructed, meaning use of right materials for its construction. Two, well calibrated, having two reference points, the calibration must be, well, must be made in a way it shows well or clearly. 3. Be sensitive. A thermometer is said to be sensitive in detecting a small change in temperature and does not absorb a large amount of heat for its own heating or cooling from the body whose temperature is being measured. Types of thermometer and their thermometric substance. There are different types of thermometer. 1. Constant volume gas thermometer. Are used for accurate temperature measurement. The thermometric substance is gas. Resistance thermometer. This is based on the change of resistance with change in temperature. Radiation thermometer. This is based on the quantity of heat radiation by a body, e.g., in furnace. Four, thermoelectric thermometer is based on thermoelectricity. Five. Thermocouple thermometer are wedded by conductor A and B thermal electrode of two different materials. The hot end is inserted into the medium under test, and the other end is connected to the wire to deform to form a circuit. If the temperature at both ends is different, a thermal potential is generated in the circuit, and the function difference at both ends of the thermal potential reflect the temperature. Then we have biometallic thermometer, a solid expansion thermometer that used to different expansion coefficients. We also have liquid in glass thermometer, which is mercury or alcohol is the thermometric substance. Mercury or alcohol liquid is filled into bulb and this fob is checked in the mercury tube. Advantages of mercury thermometer. It is a good conductor of heat and hence can measure even high temperature. It gives results quickly as a fast response time. It expands linearly and less than alcohol and any other liquid. It is more durable than a cold thermometer because mercury does not evaporate easily. It is smaller in size as compared to alcohol. alcohol. Mercury does not weight the wall of the thermometer, which means the results can be highly accurate. Disadvantages of mercury. It is highly toxic for living being and the environment if the bulb breaks and mercury leak out. Mercury is difficult to clean and it, contain, it, can, it can contaminate the surface on which it leaks. It cannot measure cool temperature. It has low thermal coefficients. 
So we look at properties of alcohol thermometer. One, since alcohol is colorless, which gives it a bright color, it, gener it generally ethanol, kerosene, or other liquid, depending on the manufacturer and the range of temperature required. The temperature range it can measure falls between minus 112 degrees Celsius low freezing point and 78 degrees Celsius high boiling point. I will come back after the break to continue. Thank you. You are welcome back to the last section. So we want to look at advantages of alcohol thermometer. One, it is suitable to measure low temperature because of its freezing point is low. Two, it is less toxic than mercury thermometer and ends high of safety factor for women and environment. Three, it has a greater value of temperature coefficient of expansion than mercury thermometer. It is less expensive than a mercury thermometer. Disadvantage of alcohol thermometer. One, it is less durable because alcohol evaporates faster than mercury. Two, it cannot measure high temperature because of a low boiling point. Three, it wet the walls of the thermometer which can adversely impact the accuracy of the readings. Which is better, mercury or alcohol thermometer? Well, both mercury and alcohol thermometer have their own merit and demerits. So, it will be unfair to term one better than other. It really depends on the purpose or application for which you want to use the thermometer. Just make sure that you buy a quality thermometer and that uh, a quality thermometer and that too from a reputed brand or supplier. Conversion of scale. Conversions of scales. So we want to look at the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. Now, as we have said earlier, that uh, there's a reference point on the thermometer for all these scales, so which is upper and lower fixed point. So we now say that for us to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, Celsius temperature minus the lower fixed point on the Celsius scale divided by upper fixed point on the Celsius scale minus the lower fixed point on the Celsius scale is equal to the Fahrenheit temperature minus the lower fixed point on the Fahrenheit scale divided by the upper fist point on the Fahrenheit scale minus the lower fist point on the Fahrenheit scale. So from there, we now say that the unknown temperature on the Celsius scale minus zero, that's the lower fist point, divided by the upper fist point of the Celsius scale, which is 100 minus the lower, which is zero, is equal to F, that's the Fahrenheit temperature, minus the lower fist point of Fahrenheit, that's 32, divided by the upper, which is 2 of Fahrenheit, which is 212 minus 32. So we now have theta divided by 100 is equals to F minus 32 divided by 180. That is the formula to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. So all you can write it as Celsius to Fahrenheit as the unknown temperature of the Celsius times 95 close bracket plus 32, then you have your answer in Fahrenheit if you are converting to Fahrenheit. Or you can, when you are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you just say that your Fahrenheit minus 32, close bracket times 59, then you have your answer in on Celsius. But the best way so that you will not cram is just to say theta, that is the on Celsius scale, divided by 100 is equal to F, that is the Fahrenheit scale minus 32 all over 100. Also, we can convert also from Kelvin to Celsius or Celsius to Kelvin. So, Kelvin to Celsius is simply K, which is the Kelvin absolute scale, is equal to C plus 273.15. 
C, that is the Kelvin, uh, the Celsius, plus 273.15. So we can make C the subject of formula if you are converting vice versa. Also, calculation of corresponding uh, temperature can also um, be done on the resistance thermometer, constant volume thermometer, and pressure thermometer, which we say is that T is equal to the temperature on the Celsius scale is goes to R0, which is resistance at constant temperature minus resistance at um, lower fixed point, which is zero, divided by resistance at upper fixed point minus R0 times 100. So we can get our corresponding temperature. Also, for the constant volume thermometer, we have V volume at corresponding temperature minus V0, that's at lower fist point, divided by volume at un, um, upper fist point minus V at lower fist point times 100. So we have that. But in the next, in next class, we'll be able to look at more calculations and look at this formula again. Thank you.